Christ yesterday and today, the beginning, the beginning and, and the, the end. end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To, to him, him be the glory and power through every age and forever. And forever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, this is a great moment, dispersed though we are, when again we can declare that the love of God is stronger than the sin of the world, and that nothing in the heights or depths can separate us from God's love. For this is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ was raised gloriously from the dead, and so we proclaim today that, Alleluia, Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. 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 Let us pray that we may reign with the risen Christ in glory. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced. 
how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witness to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear. Not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witness, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he was the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. He has defeated the powers of death. Hallelujah. Jesus turns our sorrow into dancing. Hallelujah. He has the words of eternal life. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. 
but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that, she, that he had said these things to her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. So there's this garden. In it we see a woman crying. She's blinded by grief. She has stumbled her way there. She hadn't slept. So she doesn't notice the signs of beauty and newness around her, like the dew on the grass, or the flowers reaching for the sun. She knows only sadness. So her gaze is downward when she hears footsteps through her veil of tears. A question stumbles out. A question that mingles sadness and anger. The voice of love replies. A voice that she cherished more than any other. A voice she longed to hear and would know anywhere. A voice that calls her by name. The love song of God that we have recalled over the last few days has sung a new song of life into the lifeless body of Jesus. The faith and trust that Jesus placed in the way of love on Friday has been fulfilled. He is risen. From then on, nothing could ever be the same. The impossible had happened. Love's redeeming work was done. Jesus stood alongside her in a garden. It's no coincidence that his new life is seen first in the garden, as it reminds us of another garden, the Garden of Eden. Now the fall of that garden is restored, the cycle of hatred and evil is broken, and another way has been opened up. For us, our journey through Lent has ended, Yet as the Gospel this morning reminds us, we find ourselves at a beginning. It was a beginning for Mary as she ran from that place to tell the others. It was a beginning for them as they, deniers and betrayers, see for themselves that the tomb was empty and that love has prevailed. And for us too, it is a kind of beginning. For though many of us may have been here before, each Easter new possibilities are opened up. New perspectives on the story are discovered that have an impact on our lives now. So in some sense we begin again too with hearts and minds renewed, having been drawn into the story afresh. A story in which we have been reminded who we are. On Thursday, we remember that our calling is to love and serve one another. On Friday, though there are times when the cross weighs heavy upon us, we know Jesus has been there before. And today, on this blessed day, our hearts sing with a joy beyond words, as we too peer into the empty tomb and know for ourselves that he is risen, that not even death can separate us from the love of God. The former envoy of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Terry Waite, once said, at the end of the day, love will win. These words were forged by the years he spent in captivity, held in dark prison cells in the Middle East. Yet despite all that, he, all that he had to endure, his song remained one of love. Perhaps we have thought of ourselves as imprisoned a bit lately, confined to our homes. Yet today we remember that whatever is before us, both as individuals and as a community, our song is of love. And that love song is revealed in so many ways, large and small, for each offering rooted in love makes a difference. And in some way, is a reverberation of the great outpouring of love that first Easter day. So yes, each phone call, each text message, each offer to help does matter. They connect us with the Jesus who embodied love so perfectly.
Dear friends, in Lent we have strived to make space for God, to make space to encounter the love at the heart of everything revealed so powerfully in this Easter story. So let us sing our Easter songs as loud as we can, even at home. Let's wake up the neighbours. For this is not a day for mumbling into hymn books, but singing with gusto that love is the way, that the life-giving love of God is victorious, that nothing can separate us from this love, and that each one of us, like Mary, is called by name, no matter what life is like for us at this time, to live as an Easter people, and love as if our life depended upon it. For Christ is risen, he, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, we remember that through the Paschal mystery we have died and be buried with him in baptism. Therefore, I invite you to renew your baptismal promises. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore, I ask, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? I, I renounce them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? I, I repent of them. them. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light. Therefore, I ask, do you turn to Christ as Saviour? I turn to Christ. Do you submit to Christ as Lord? I submit to Christ. Do you come to Christ, the way, the truth and the life? I come, I come to Christ. Christ. May God, who has given you the desire to follow Christ, give you the strength to continue in the way. Let us pray. As we celebrate the new life of the resurrection, let us pray to God who brings us all to life. Risen Lord, we pray that the Church may proclaim your message of hope for the world at this very difficult time. May all our lives, as well as our worship, testify to the truth of the resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Risen Lord, we seek your peace, peace between nations and people at this time, peace in our dealings with each other, peace in our hearts and in our homes. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Risen Lord, as you appeared to Mary and the disciples, come enter our homes and the homes of all people. We pray at this time for all who are helping their local communities in their time of need. For all who will work in our hospitals, surgeries, and for all community workers, particularly those in our parish of Whitkirk and Colton. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Risen Lord, walk with us through these times of suffering and pain. Make us aware of one another's needs and breathe new life and hope for those whom we pray today. Have Parkinson, Jimmy Camponi, Tom Eaton, Edward Pryor, Jeffrey Rinder, Jennifer Mode, Brian Green, Molly Boys, Audrey Holland, and all those suffering from the COVID-19 virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, we pray for those who have come to the end of their earthly journey, remembering those who have recently died. Pauline Keenan, Joanna Patel, and those who have lost their lives from the COVID-19 virus. In the year's mind, we remember today Joseph Mark Hughes, and anyone we wish to remember this Easter day. May they all rest in peace and rise with the joy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, 
here are prayer. Risen Lord, we thank you for the precious new gift of life. May we take it, may we never take it for granted, but live each moment in the fullness of life that Jesus gained for us. Rejoicing in the fellowship of St. Mary and of all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, I accept, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake, sake of your Son, our, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Alleluia! Christ has been raised from the dead. The peace of the risen Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. you. and Lord Jesus Christ, we believe you and all that we have heard is true. When you break bread, may we recognise you as the fire that burns within us, that we may bring light to your world. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right Amen. to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and open to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In 
the same way, after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people here and in their homes, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Blessed Mary and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are dispersed, we who are many are one body, for we have and we will share in the one bread. Hallelujah! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the feast. feast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah!
let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. the Father by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, among those whom you love, on your homes, this day and always. With the power that raised Jesus from the dead at work within you, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia.